as soon as the movie ends, my my buddy's like, hey, you apologize to my friend right now. And then and the guy's like, no. And then my my buddy just reels back on both. He like grabs the chair and just <laughs> kicks the guy <laughs> and just starts <laughs> bicycle kicking this guy like <laughs> Luke Kang. <laughs> So do we know who Jonathan Majors is in this room? Yes. Yeah. Is he an actor? Yeah. Actor. We talked about him. He was in oh, Creed yeah, 3 as the antagonist Creed. and also King the Conqueror, formerly known as, I guess. Wasn't he in Loki? Yes. Yeah, as King so the he's Conqueror. been fired from Marvel now. So he's not going to be King no more? King, I think that's all done. <laughs> was that your favorite character? No, I didn't really get into it, but that's kind of a bummer though. He's a fucking good actor. He was supposed really to be the, he was supposed to be the big bad guy. So he got fired because he's found guilty of one count of misdemeanor, third degree assault, one count of second degree harassment. He was acquitted of- Of his girlfriend or of a lady or oh, something, right? Uh, yeah, girlfriend, I believe. Um, he was acquitted of two other counts of assault and aggravated harassment in a split verdict. But Marvel dropped him because he was found guilty of the misdemeanor, third degree assault, and the second degree harassment. Apparently within the 30 <laughs> minutes of like the news breaking. Exactly. Right. Thirty within they thirty minutes of the go. verdict, he got dropped. Well, they want to separate themselves Ooh, immediately. This yeah. might be a dumb question, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. A misdemeanor is not that bad, right? <laughs> a Mister Demeanor is worse. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's, that's not that bad, right? Theoretically, no. I mean, but on, on the scale of charges in California, you didn't even do time for it. That's what I mean. So like, it's pretty. Cool. It's a ticket. Well, isn't well it? I also think it's one of those like a misdemeanor for like any one of us Joe Schmoes in here. It's like yeah, it's not that bad. But if you're like. Yeah. Like celebrity oh, hotspot top fucking a list shit, system. or even just like if you're in the middle, you're in the middle. Yeah, a that's, solid that's A list. <laughs> like, you know, we're down, we're like down here. So, is there anything the lower than a misdemeanor? Out. Well, it's also what the misdemeanor's about. He was beating yeah. up his girlfriend, right? Yeah. yeah. There was an altercation in 2000, March 2023, with his then girlfriend Grace Jabari, in a four hire SUV in the middle of New York City, and uh, we haven't heard much about this, by the way, other than. That happened, and then all of a sudden, this court case comes out, and then we finally hear what actually happened in the charges. Um, so, what did he do? Like, so he says he was picking her up in oh. New York, right? And he says picking her up, by the way, was one of the biggest mistakes of his life. He says, "I pick her up, I put her back in the car." So, so when he says pick up, he means physically. So, there's video of this, right? So yes. they basically like argued in the car, and obviously, you don't see that. But then there's a point where he tries to leave the car. Right, because they have a chauffeur, and then there's like street camera or surveillance camera of this footage where like she tries to get out of the car and like grab him back in. So he picks her up physically mm -hmm. and then puts her back in the car or some shit like that. Was it violent? Yeah. In like a gentle, gentle way or like fucking WWE? Like a crane game? Yeah. I think it's just more of one of those subjective, like <laughs> at the end of the day, this guy's a physically fucking uh, capable man. Wait, and this he, is like a white woman that's. Uh, like, he puts yeah. her in the car and he leaves. Yeah, and then, and then oh. but he doesn't just leave, it's like, he continues leaving and then she still goes after him, so there's like, multiple, like the camera oh. continues to change, so they were running into oh. So he's trying to defuse the situation by putting, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and then like, like other bystanders, because there's like so many, it's happening on a New York, like city street, yeah. there's like bystanders that are like, watching this thing happen, he's a popular guy, so people are like now talking to her, they're like, you know, being like, hey, we could take you home, and all are this extra okay? shit. Yeah. Hey look, it's that fucking guy! <laughs> So, so the altercation began in the SUV after the then girlfriend saw a text message from another woman on his phone. And uh, she said that she tried to grab the phone after seeing a message that popped up and said, I wish I was kissing you. So then she got hot, right? That's probably just his agent. We need a Wendy Williams audience. Ooh. Yeah, it's just agent speak, right? Yeah. Manager speak. Yeah. It's yeah. Hollywood. But here's, here's the thing, though. Whatever happened, whatever happened in this hey, altercation. It's Tinseltown. <laughs> Tinseltown. <laughs> whatever happened in the altercation in the car, though, she ends up having like a dislocated middle finger or something oh. like that, and scratches. That's pre-existing. That's because she like weak. Was it leather? Was it like like coat scratches? You know, sometimes you wear like a fabric that's like kind of like yeah. Yeah. What, like Velcro. Yeah. 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 yeah, you know, girls be bruising easily. Yeah, they just need glucosamine or some shit. Yeah, stiff collars, oh. bro, cut you up. She probably doesn't eat any collagen. Glucosamine deficiency. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it wasn't scratches. If he has those buttons that are unbuttoned, and those things are like deadly, dude. Yeah. Buttons, yeah. 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 yeah, they're huge. Damn. So she said that he was pulling her right hand behind her back while holding the phone in her left. She's holding the phone. He, he's trying to get the phone back. And then she said he, he was twisting my arm and hand trying to make me feel pain. 
trying to make me feel bad. That's How really, do you know what the intention that's is? A, that's a funny way of putting it. He was trying to destroy my feelings. You guys, that's an Indian burn, you know? Like, this is probably just fucking that's, 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 that's We all know what that's that is. That's a felony. That's, that's, that's not a misdemeanor, you know, dude. <laughs> feel some pain. Yeah, that's a, that's well, a hate crime, dude. Majors has denied twisting her arm. He said he's confident he didn't cause those injuries. He said she went to grab the phone. I held the phone. I pulled the phone back. She came on top of me, squeezed my face, slapped me. That's all I remember. Oh, and shit. then he was trying to get out. He was getting out of the car. He kept pushing her back inside <coughs> the car. He get, getting out of the car. He said the second, the biggest mistake of his life was picking her up. The second biggest mistake of his life was trying to put her back in the car. Damn. He just wishes that he just fucking. So died. when he threw her back in, that's the assault part. Interesting. That, well, the whole thing is part of the the assault thing, mm. but the the altercation is kind of what what got him into this. So now he's labeled as like a a, a, a woman beater. It's it's kind of what people have been saying Damn. for a while, yeah. Hey, do you think guys who are like Jonathan Majors, do you think they should just have like two phones on them at all times? <laughs> yeah, one for the hoes and one for the shows. Yeah. No, for real though. Yeah. Like if we're talking, like that's if pretty, we're gonna yeah. keep it a buck, like if this dude is gonna. That's kind of an amateur mistake at his level. Come on, bro. Like you got <laughs> you can't have these ladies doing this to you, bro. Well, also too, like I knew a guy who was. Pretty pretty good cheater. Yeah. He had codes. He had his bitches talking in codes. That's what yeah. I'm saying. That's what you do. What are some of the codes? Dude, I'm not kidding. I can't wait. I should be so kissing I, you right now. I, I am not <laughs> that means fuck it. <laughs> I swear to God on my life, this actually happened. This guy, we were at a movie theater one time. We we're watching The Social Network, and the theater's packed as fuck because everyone wants to see that movie, right? And then this guy sits down in my seat before I'm like I'm getting up, I'm getting popcorn or whatever. The guy sits down in my seat, and then this, my buddy's like, Hey, my buddy's coming back. He'll be right back. And then this guy's like. Oh, uh, I didn't see anybody in the seat, so I'm gonna take the seat. Whoa. So the guy, so then my buddy is like, okay. <laughs> as soon as the, I find a seat, as soon as the movie ends, my my buddy's like, hey, you apologize to my friend right now. And then and the guy's like, no. And then my my buddy just reels back on both. He like grabs the chair and just fucking <laughs> kicks the guy and just starts fucking kicking him like bicycle kicking him oh, with a fucking so head. <laughs> bicycle kicking this guy like fucking Luke Kang, right? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So this guy's what like, a already, funny attack. Yeah, so he's bleed because yeah, <laughs> my guy's like a asshole from Massachusetts too. He's like a fucking asshole, Patriots oh. fan. So yeah, he's one of those guys. Oh. Yeah, dude, okay. you know, you know those guys. Okay. Yeah. So then yeah, this guy's all bleeding and shit, and then um, um he gets up and then um he his wife by the way she's also a asshole fucking Patriots fan. So she's like that's right you motherfucking piece of shit and all this yeah, shit. So she's talking shit. So he spits on her. Oh shit. Right? And then I block the aisle so he can't get out. So my, my buddy starts running towards the back of the theater, right? Okay. So then um then I'm with his wife and this wife's got a spin on her face, she's like, what the fuck and stuff. And um and my buddy calls her, right? He's running, doing whatever the fuck. <laughs> he he calls her and he's like, hey, uh code 361B. And she's like, what the fuck does that mean? And he's like, he's like, he's like 361 blue. And she's like, what the fuck is 361 blue? I don't know what the fuck that means, right? So so he just keeps on yelling this code, and then, so he's pissed, he's so pissed. So by the time we, we rendezvous, we rendezvous, right? Because you can't just meet up, we have to rendezvous. 361 feet. Because this guy used to do target security, yeah. so he- Target security! You gotta be in a neutral location, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Ah. So he's like, we gotta rendezvous and shit, right? So, so then we rendezvous, right? Back at my apartment. And he immediately unloads on her as soon as she comes through the door. He's like, what? Code 361B, what the fuck does that mean, huh? What the fuck does that mean, Kim? <laughs> and she's like, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know what that means. I told you that on the phone. And he's like, that means like we need to fuck you need to fucking get out here and we're gonna rendezvous with this thing. And and she's just like, I don't remember this shit. I swear to god, I don't remember I this don't shit. work security. <laughs> yeah. But he had his little codes for like everything. But he he's the only one who knows the codes. Nobody gives a fuck what <laughs> <laughs> Whoever working with the security yeah, detail knows cares. it. <laughs> nobody cares. This guy, by the way, he, I think I've told you about him before. He's the guy who who showed me a highlight reel set to like limp biscuit. Of him doing like target takedowns <laughs> <laughs> at, ta yes. at target like security. Stuff, you see guys with like Vizio, <laughs> Vizio <laughs> TVs <laughs> walking towards the door, and then you just see him come out and tackle him down. <laughs> 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 He's got like a super cut, like a fucking reel of this shit, like <laughs> set to like limp biscuit. You know, you meant target the department. Oh yeah, the store, dude. That's yeah, so dude, it's so <laughs> sick, dude. It was set to like, like what's that? Um, it's that Slipknot song, it's like, um, I'm becoming this. 
Oh my god. I wonder if he That's looks at uh, looters today like, this would have never happened on my watch. Oh, absolutely. I'm sure he does. I haven't talked to him in a while. Is he in loss prevention where he's in plain clothes and they don't know it's him kind of thing? Or I, is he just like a... I, like, he's wearing like a black shirt and like khaki. <laughs> they used to have like, like police looking uniforms. Yeah. They look like, you know, mall cops. I can't believe your buddy kicked a guy in the face at him. He kept kicking him too, dude. <laughs> I want to know what, the him. details of code 361BR and I'm going to I'm Teach Nina. This is the best, man. The, teach Nina, just tell her about it one time in passing and then expect her to know that. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> For always. The best. I wonder if it's still considered assault if he hit her with a limp wrist. If it's like a weak hit at that point, is it really an assault? Yeah, what if it's a spank? Yeah. Is that an assault? Dude, Open hand? I think yes. I think that, I'm, that I've been guilty of assault in my life. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you that right now. They locked me up. What was that part? I think I saw something about how she was like, she got into his apartment and was like knocked out on in his closet. Did you see what? that? Oh yeah, she like th that was like a different altercation where she had like uh, yeah. uh, she like passed out and he he yeah. called the hospital or whatever and he was just like yo like she's like knocked out of my spot she's yeah. passed out and she has like visible like choke marks on her yeah. fucking neck. It's like he reported it as like she broke in and, and yeah. like fell asleep well, he, or some he, shit. He like put her to sleep I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So well, he thinks he's gonna come back from this. By the way, I'm not making fun of that, but he thinks he's gonna come back from this and that God has a plan for him and that. He says, I'm a great man. I do great things for my culture and the world. The woman that supports me needs to be a great woman. There's uh, an audio recording of this. That's what this is. This yeah. is crazy. She like, well, one, I think she's also kind of crazy if she like pulled out her phone and was like recording their conversation. You know what I mean? I think that's also. Well, yeah, I mean, they clearly uh, sound like a yeah. tumultuous that's couple. Yeah. yeah. But like in this audio recording, it's really fucking funny to hear this dude be like, I'm a great man. I'm a great, a great man. man. You know, I'm doing great. He really sounds like an actor. Yeah. And he's, he's, and he's like, yeah, it's like he's monologuing. Yeah. And then he also says, he's like, He's like, I was trying to give an analogy, um, when, when they were asking the court to give context to the conversation, he was like, I was trying to give an analogy uh, of what it is I'm aspiring to be. You know, these great men, Martin, President Obama, trying to give a reference point to that. I was attempting and did a terrible <laughs> job at it. Apparently, I was attempting to motivate, to enlighten, to give perspective. And because he, he was basically saying like, why can't you be more like Coretta Scott King and shit like that, yeah. like to his chick. Yeah, it's fucking it's bananas. It's pretty fucking oh, bananas. Fuck. Yeah, and like, it sounds like, like he's, it's like the writer wrote this shit. What does he mean, Coretta Scott? Like, Martin tried to so basically fucking manhandle her men. and she was cool with it, or what? Great men. <laughs> great men who have the support of great women. Right. Yeah. But he believes he's a great man, but oh. she needs to be a great yeah. woman. She know Coretta. Mm -hmm. I see, yeah. <laughs> well, also, yeah. Martin, you know, ML, MLK would cheat on Coretta. Yeah. Dude. So maybe that's part of it, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's... I mean, why can't you just stand by me while I cheat like Martin Luther King did? Yeah. <laughs> while I talk to these other bitches. <laughs> That's so funny. It's pretty funny. Damn. Damn. Do you think he's gonna come back from it? I I don't know, bro. It's one of those weird things where like hearing him on the interview like talk about what happened, I, I feel bad for the guy. Who do you feel did a worse domestic violence? Because this is domestic violence, right? Who did worse domestic violence? Chris Brown? And Rihanna? Chris Brown for sure. He oh, beat yeah. the fuck. Jonathan Majors is good, bro. He's yeah, gonna be no, but they, He don't got no hits. On, Chris man. Brown is like <laughs> iconic. He doesn't have yo. Yeah, he the difference is yo. Chris Brown can still do independent music and yeah, make it true. and blast it out. Whereas movies is a little bit different. And Chris yeah. Brown's trying to be a bad guy. Like he's trying to be bad. God, he's so good yeah, at that's, it. That's isn't he? Jonathan oh, like that's his image. Yeah. yeah. Like he, like who's he's a, his woman beating who's, image? Who's is joining? Thing. Who's becoming a pyro after yeah. you're rich and famous? That's, that's weird. That's true. He's a gangster and a woman beater. Yeah. Chris Brown's a pyro. Huh? Now he is. <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound like that changes your plans. I was saying, this generation of entertainment in America, I think he's gonna come back. He'll be fine. <laughs> I think. I think Jonathan Majors. Gonna I think be he's fine. gonna be fine. Like you said, he's a really good actor. So I feel I, that's that is a big difference. A... If fucking what's her face, Johnny Depp's chick. Oh yeah. Like Amber Heard. Yeah, I mean, Amber Heard. Yeah. She was still a fucking awkward. I mean, Mel Gibson yeah. kind of came back. Yeah, but they shot that like eight years before yeah. though. Or he went to the director's chair and like still produces every all these fucking weird things. So and it's he's like wealthy as fuck. Yeah, Majors might just that's fucking true. do stuff on the back end. Yeah. Or he could Kevin Spacey it and just keep doing the character everywhere even though nobody asked him. <laughs> Have you seen that shit? It's fucking great. <laughs> it's great. Even though no one asked. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
keep being king out there, dude. Just kidding news, careful boys, is a brand. Just kidding news is the man of smart people. The people of Just Kidding News, careful boys, they are very smart. Just kidding news, the number one podcast in the world.